In this video, we are going to be unboxing, test driving, and reviewing this 18th scale small monster truck from Rarlo. I have this truck here on the workbench today because I've had one of their bigger trucks before, 16th scale, and it was a pretty decent, you know, starter, entry level basher truck. Well, this one was just on sale on Amazon a few days ago for $50. Five zero fifty dollars I think with shipping and everything, it was like 57 to my door. So really, really, I mean, hard to beat when you talk about like hobby grade and that borderline between like the junk that you can buy at like a Walmart versus something that you can actually get and repair and modify. $50 is pretty dang tempting and that's a really, really low value. So we're gonna give it a shot and just see how good it really is. You can really tell this is geared towards the beginners, but you're also getting a pretty decent amount here for $50. So you have the truck itself. I believe there might be a battery actually already in the truck. Haven't taken the body off to check. Comes with the battery, comes with one of the slow, slow USB chargers, but those are easy enough to use. Some spare body clips and a couple of handy tools for just the minimal work that you need to get done. The controller is kind of, I don't know, kind of your base budget controller. Uh, but what's interesting here, driving tips for beginner. Again, read the label. They put a whole basically quick instruction guide as a sticker right here on top of the controller because this is very geared towards beginners. Hey, here's the steering wheel. Here's the throttle. This is what it is. This is what all the throttle trims and what all these buttons do up here. That's definitely something that you're doing, gearing it completely towards a beginner. As you may guess, the book goes into even more detail around how you operate an RC vehicle. But the cool thing is, is you get back here to the back, and again, this is kind of the differentiator between a uh, toy grade and a hobby grade. Part numbers, parts, what they are, exploded diagrams right so if you need to work on this vehicle it's giving you the information that you need so that you can actually do that and that is very very key the body itself design of the truck itself is actually very appealing i think it's really nice i love the graphics on the side of it and everything these aren't stickers it is all somehow in you know it's like it's a, a laminate on the bottom of the body uh, has a little bit of a carbon fiber kind of graphic has this plastic roof skid with lights here in the front kind of has a mellow yellowish feeling with just some of the diagrams and designs on here wheelie bar don't know if we'd really need that or not but it does have one big bumper more lights up there in the front you know uh, tires are feeling pretty hard as you may expect and yes of course non-oil filled shocks Underneath the body, uh, you do have to unplug this wire here. If you want to take the body all the way off, we're going to need to pull this sticker off the heat sink so that it doesn't get melted on there. You can see the basic servo. Uh, it is a three wire servo, which is nice to see, which means we might be able to actually replace it if we need to. Brushed motor, of course, as you'd expect, two in one ESC and receiver in one unit to save some cost. So another battery here, these are 850 milliamp 2S LiPo. So there is two of those included with the truck. Um, pretty solid control arms, you know, be uh, somewhat beefy design, I would say for the design, for the, for the weight of the truck. Yeah, I say confirming non-oil filled shocks kind of like what you would expect for that price point so really this is uh you know i keep these around i give these away to kids uh, i try to keep a couple of them around the house for when like neighbor kids come over i can always hand them a controller they can bounce these things off a wall and it just doesn't matter they weigh so little they they hit they just bounce off so um, very rarely do they end up breaking I'm going to get this battery charged up and we're going to uh, give it a shot. Batteries in the truck. We got headlights glowing. Servos nice and fast. Truck drives. It does. It goes. Let's take it out and give this thing a shot. I'm trying to think as to how I should test this truck and who's the audience. Well, the audience is people like me, probably dads, 
buying a kid for their buying an RC for their kid. Grandpa's buying an RC their kids can play with, grandkids can play with when they come over. What are they probably gonna do? They're probably gonna drive it around the front yard in the grass. They're probably gonna drive it around the driveway, make up some little makeshift wooden ramps to try to jump it off of. So it's exactly what we're gonna do. My 12 year old's been really slacking and hasn't mowed the grass yet, which means it's gonna be a really good challenge for this truck because 18 scale truck is really, really small. And so I don't have tall, weed infested dandelions growing everywhere grass. And so if it can make it through this, it'll probably make it through your freshly cut lawn. Well, the truck completely passes the driveway small ramp test. It was actually really fun, predictable handling, decent speed for that size of area. In the grass, it struggled a little bit, um, but that's really tall grass out there right now. Really needs to be cut down. If you had a shorter cut yard, the truck could go through it without a problem. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend driving it long term in the yard like I had it out there today, so tall as it was, you'll end up overheating the motor and really shortening your battery life. But really, really good for $50. How could you possibly beat it? So really such a good deal. I'm really pretty happy with it. I'm kind of curious if I should do anything else to it. Like, should I try to figure out how to do like a little mini brushless swap into this thing and like really go crazy with it? It has metal gears in it and everything. So in theory, it should be able to handle it. It won't have the traction to handle it, but it'd be kind of crazy to put brushless in this little 18th scale thing and really see it rip. I hope you enjoyed this review. I have more information out there on a lot of budget-oriented vehicles and what are some of the best ones that you can get your hands on. I have a whole vehicle reviews playlist that I'll include over here to the right, and you can check out a lot of different options that are similar in nature to this truck right here. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.